everyone welcome back to my channel my name is alicia if you're new to my channel and if you're already a subscriber hey what's up you guys i'm on campus come on go to work with me today to prepare for my first semester of in-person teaching so let's go Okay guys, so as you've seen, I am in my office and the first thing I wanna do is put some stuff that I have from home in my office. I just put it in this little Burlington bag. Um, something that I have bought from Burlington, I think it was like maybe $4.99, $5.99, is a desk calendar. As you can see, it's huge, you guys. It's one of those that you just lay on your desk and i like this because i don't have any like hanging calendars like something that i can write on so this is big enough to just lay out on my desk um and i could just write in it appointments important dates right i really like this of course aesthetically it goes with my office it's a black and gold so okay you guys so here is my desk calendar that i showed you guys that i bought i just put it on my desk you guys here's my mask i always keep a n95 next to me um but yes so i already know some important dates that i need to list on here like tomorrow which is the 17th we have the kent school retreat so i need to put that on here you guys like my pencil remember my pen remember i got this from dollar tree how cute right let me see so So the kids school retreat and then we have um first day of school is 22nd but officially for me the 23rd because my classes are on tuesday and thursday so i'm just gonna put first day of classes Ew, that's ugly anyways first day of classes um anything else important i have to go back in my computer on my calendar and see but i just like having it here so like when i'm doing work i can just look right over and be like okay what what do i have scheduled right so yeah and then we have this spot right here for reminders which is really nice so i really like this but look how cute does that look on my desk so cute All right. okay so that is thing one thing two my favorite is is my bag oh my gosh y'all i had it put up so it got lint and stuff on it i'm gonna have to clean it a bit but this is my dr dawson bag that my best friend veronica got me you guys how cute oh my goodness i need to put it up so i wanted to bring my bag and put it in the office but then i also wanted to bring this dr alicia dawson period um i want to display this somewhere in my office i'll probably put it um on i'll probably put it somewhere right here let me see i'll probably do that honestly dr dawson do we like that um no so the next thing in my dr dawson bag that veronica bought me had made for me was my dr dawson cup um this is like a yeti type of cup so i also wanted to bring this to my office i'll probably put this up i probably only only use this when i have my cold drinks um so yes thanks bff if you're watching this i love you okay the next last but final i have went to bath and body works you guys because i needed listen first off my friend maisha bought me a bath and body works gift card and i have yet to use it and she bought that for me literally two years ago so perfect timing i'm very intentional when it comes to gift cards i don't just like go spend them like i'll always wait until i like really have a reason to spend it so perfect occasion because i bought some smell good stuff you guys um so this is a wall plug-in charger um and this one costs five dollars and fifty cents if you can see five dollars and fifty cents and then i got the champagne apple and honey scent this one smelled really good when i smelled it at the store so i'm like 
yes that's the perfect scent because my office now doesn't smell like anything it doesn't smell nasty does it stink thankfully but it just don't smell like anything so i wanted to kind of make it smell like a woman you know so that's why i went to bath and body works and got this um and i also got me some lotion to keep in my office this one is champagne toast ooh, ooh, ooh. and this is the body cream actually um if you guys don't know there's a difference there's body lotion that bath and body works sells and then there's body cream to me body cream lasts longer it's thicker it goes on creamier and it just lasts longer than the lotion. I'm about to put some on now so I can. Oh my God, the champagne toast smells so good, you guys. Okay, y'all. So let me open this up and figure out how to put this together. I've actually never bought one of these from Bath and Body Works before. So this is my first time owning one of these. So I don't even know how to really put it together, but we shall see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I finally figured out how to get this in here. So apparently it's lefty tidy, not, not righty tidy, lefty loosey when it comes to these. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna plug it in right here. Let's plug this up. So is it plugged up? I don't know. Just have to let it do its work. And that is it for that. Hopefully it makes my office smell a lot better. Oh yeah, you guys, I forgot to show you this. So look at this, a red cup for U of L. You guys know our school colors is red and black, primary red. Um, but I got this from, uh, yes, I got this from Marshalls for $8. And I already have a pink one and I have a white one, but I got those from Five Below for $5. But this one was $8 and I thought this is so cute to keep in my office, I already have water in it. I'm just gonna refill this with water. So this will be like my desk cup. Um, in addition to my Dr. Dawson cup. So yes, I love this. So I literally have one week until I start teaching in person. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, so right now I just started my computer. So since I'm doing in-person teaching, I have to like um, create my syllabus and things like that, which I've already created my syllabus, but I went to a syllabus training yesterday and through that training they really helped me learn how to like really spruce up my syllabus even more i'm talking about put like the university banner on the syllabus and just so much other like hyperlink things just to add in there and i'm like ah, i need to fix my syllabus because i want my syllabus to look um completely renovated and just be beautiful and informative first of all a syllabus is so important so i really want it to really um just be a good syllabus so that's what i'm doing um i am going to work on the syllabus okay so this is my syllabus right now like i said i teach social work 201 and i just have things like this in there you know but um i like all of this i just learned yesterday was kind of outdated we don't even do what's called a blue survey anymore so i just need to like take that out um, maybe try to find the ISBN number for the textbook. Um, but you see, I don't, I don't have like a U of L banner anywhere, like logo. So I'm going to add that on there. Diversity statement. Um, I'm going to leave the rubrics in here. They were telling me yesterday that you honestly don't have to have the rubrics in your syllabus, but me personally, especially because I was a student, I think it's just very helpful to have the rubrics inside of the syllabus. So I'm going to leave them there, which in this class, they only have one major assignment. So there is only one rubric to put in the paper, in the syllabus, excuse me. So yeah, so I'm going to fix this really quick. Yep, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to spruce up my syllabus. Um, you guys don't need to watch me do that. That would be like so boring. Y'all be like, click, I'm off. But anyways, so yeah, I will see you guys as soon as I'm done fixing this syllabus. All right, you guys, so I'm still on campus. I'm about to take a seat and chill. I just left my office. Yes, it's dark outside. I've been there for a while working really hard on my syllabus because i have an in-person class so face-to-face -face, and i have an online class same class but i'm teaching one face-to-face -face, one online so the syllabus has to be um different because it's just different assignments um it just has to be different working for the university of louisville is really cool i really am 
already starting to love it just because as a professor, I'm really like being able to create the class that I want for my students. Like nobody has built any of the online course for me. Like I get to go in and manually do everything, create the assignments, create the quizzes, create the paper assignments, like everything I have to create it. And it's a really interesting because my work as an adjunct previously for another university, everything was already created for me. It was really like I facilitated the class. Um, so now that I work for U of L and I'm getting to like be super hands on, oh my goodness, it's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong, but I found it. I find it so enjoyable just because I feel like as a professor, I get to really create the work that I wanted when I was a student. So this time around now that I'm a professor, right? The roles have changed. I'm no longer a student, I'm a professor. So I'm really trying to create meaningful assignments, meaningful work, right? For students, um, trying to make it fun. You know, we're in 2022, right? No one wants to keep doing this old timey work, right? We want to get creative. So I'm trying to get creative. I'm trying to get innovative, um, really like create assignments maybe that has the students like using social media as a tool, like just all kind of stuff. Like I've just been thinking and it's on its way. I'm still building it. Like I said, I have a, um, a week now into class start. So I'm really, I'm just really grinding to get it all finished. But I have faith I'll get finished probably by tomorrow night, honestly, like, cause I've just been working so hard. So we shall see. Um, but yes, so right now, like I said, I'm just chilling, just trying to catch a breather. Um, but I am going to be on my way home because my work for today is done. Um, tomorrow is a Kent school retreat so that's where i get to like meet more staff and things of that nature um so i will be back on campus tomorrow for that that's an all-day event um i don't want to vlog it just because um like i said that's really with my co-workers and i don't really want to put them on the camera you know that's really unprofessional um especially because this is like my first impression to a lot of them some of them have met me a lot of them have not so yeah not sticking the camera in anyone's face but <laughs> that's where i'll be tomorrow um but yeah, I guess this is it for this video, short and sweet, but I hope you guys got to just get a better in-depth kind of look into like what is going on as I start classes. Ah, I'm so excited, you guys. I feel like it's my first day of school, like, ah, yes. But anyways, right now, if you're not subscribed and you're watching, what are you doing? Come along to the Bay Gang, Bay Gang, B-A-E Gang, okay, Bay Gang. Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button and comment down below if you want to wish me luck on my first day next week, you guys. But yes, that is it for this video and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.